Hello, how are you? Nine or three. Uh, hi, Nubia. How are you? Hello. Fine. Good, e good evening. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Saul, Glendy, Natalie. Good evening, teacher. Claudia, good evening. Just let me open the, the file. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. How was your day? Very busy day. Okay, Doki. Uh, here we are. Oh. Okay, without losing any time, let me share what we have for today's class. Okay, what day is today, guys? What day is today? Wednesday. It's today Wednesday. is Wednesday, Wednesday 11th, uh, 11, October 11th, uh, 2023. It's okay if you say 2023. 20, uh, no problem. It's understood. It's not very common though, but it's understood. Or you just say uh, today is October 11th, 2023. Okay. So we are 19, thank you, missing two students because including me is 19 right now. And uh, yesterday, what was the topic? Saul, what was the topic from yesterday? Uh, do you, any ideas? Um, yeah. What do you see? Remember that you, we are talking about favors, right? And what yeah, were favor. the uh -huh, favors? And we were using some forms and instead of, of uh, asking for favor. Okay, Nubia, do you have any idea? Do you remember? We were studying models, uh, requests no, with, no. yes, with models and and gerunds, I guess. Okay, so anyway, um, let me remind you that uh, we need to, well, actually you need to work on the on the, on the the platform because uh, someone sent a note uh, to all of you that the day after tomorrow or tomorrow, she's going to update your academic advance. And I have seen the topics that you are asked on the, on the platform and uh, the, the same topics that we're studying here. Okay, so I didn't get the time to send you the paper with the with the with the rules that I'm going to show you, but uh, uh well, uh, and and the one from yesterday, yes, you got it, but not from this one. But I will try to send it to you. It's not a promise. I just will make my best. Okay, so asking for favors. That was the topic that we're listening. So we have some requests that Tina, Mike, and Phil asked to other people. So write what each caller requests, okay? The answer is yes or no, it's already there, okay? So just take notes, listen and take notes. Let me, let me share uh, audio. Uh, yes. Page 18. Exercise five, listening, favors. Part A, listen to three telephone conversations. Write down what each caller requests. Does the other person agree to the request? Check yes or no. One, Tina. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your camera for a few days. I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. Sure. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Two. Mike. Hello? Hi, Sandy. This is Mike. How are things with you? Pretty good. 
Listen, I was wondering if I could use your video game system. You mean my new Playmaster? Yeah. My sister has asked me to take care of my niece and nephew over the weekend. They're six and eight. And I thought it would be a great way to keep them busy. That's a good idea. Kids that age love video games. But, well, I have bad news. My machine isn't working. I've been meaning to take it in to get fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always rent one. Most video stores have machines to rent. You just have to leave a deposit. Oh, perfect. I'll do that. Thanks, Sandy. No problem. Three. Phil. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Hmm, maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know, Polly, my bird. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy, and they make a lot of noise, and... Uh... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. Okay, do you get, uh, do you write something about Tina? Uh, what is Tina request? Or do you want me to play the audio again? Yes, please. Tina, Tina okay. wants want to Robert uh, borrow her, his, his uh, camera. Ah, uh, okay. Let's mm -hmm. see, I will play it uh, because of the request that we have over there. That was a request. When you when I said, do you want me to play again? Yes, please. So you're not using the requests that we were using, but in a simple words, you're requesting. Good, excellent. Thanks to both of you. Page 18, exercise five, listening, favors, part A. Listen to three telephone conversations. Write down what each caller requests. Does the other person agree to the request? Check yes or no. One, Tina. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your camera for a few days. I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. Sure, you can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Two, Mike. Hello? Hi, Sandy. This is Mike. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could use your video game system. You mean my new Playmaster? Yeah. My sister has asked me to take care of my niece and nephew over the weekend. They're six and eight. And I thought it would be a great way to keep them busy. That's a good idea. Kids that age love video games. But, well, I have bad news. My machine isn't working. I've been meaning to take it in to get fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always rent one. Most video stores have machines to rent. You just have to leave a deposit. Oh, perfect. I'll do that. Thanks, Sandy. No problem. Three, Phil. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much. But I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Hmm, maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. 
Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know, Polly, my bird. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy, and they make a lot of noise, and... Uh... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. Okay, so Tina. I think we already got the answer for Tina. Yes, okay. Tina wants to buy a Robert's camera. Okay, good, excellent. Francisco, what about Mike? Uh, Mike asked for the video game system. Uh huh. Uh, he, uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not Tina, it's Mike. Mike wants to borrow Sandy's video game system. Yeah, it's not Tina, it's Mike. I'm sorry about it. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, but the answer is, okay. is fantastic. And then Mike says, uh, well, uh, Sandy says no, right? And uh, Glendy uh, Flores, uh, what about Phil? Uh, it's about a bear. It's about? A bear. Yeah, okay. And Nubia, thank you, Glendy, great. And what's uh, Phil's uh, request? Uh, Jenny, uh, Glendy already says about a bird. But could you give extra information? Nubia, Cristina? I think your camera is free, Nubia, if you, ah, okay. So I, again, that, that's why we, <laughs> copy and paste it. <laughs> it's not, it's not, you know, it's Phil. Phil wants Lynn, uh, Lynn to take care of his, uh, his blind while he's gone. His bird, his blind bird, okay. Uh, his his bird. Okay, so okay, great. So exercise eight. I think it's on page. You had the manual over there. What page is it? Remember that we are using seven. Page oh, twenty. Huh? Page twenty. Uh, twenty. Okay, thank you. Ah, Robert wants camera, yes. Okay, so we are in collocations, okay? There are some verbs, but one of the verbs, it doesn't go with an apology. Which verb, that the one that it, uh, the trio verb, um, offer, uh, let me, let me see. So we have three, of, Offer, do, accept. Which verb do we not use with an apology? Of, offer, do, or an asset? Mm -hmm. Take a while, guess. A while, guess. It doesn't matter if you... Uh, Get the wrong one. It's not important. Remember do. what it do. Maybe accept. Maybe do. accept. Another idea? Do. Another do. idea? Do. Another idea? Accept. And do. Exactly. It's do. Uh, but all of the participations, great. Fantastic. Okay. So do. We say. I owe you an apology. I offer an apology. I accept your apo an apology, okay? So individual, uh, if he, you just have the manual and at, 
a notebook only write the word that it doesn't go with a phone call. Only write and number three, only write the word in your in your notebook that doesn't go with a favor. And so on. Which bird does not go with a phone call? Which bird does not go with a favor? Which bird does not go with an invitation? An invitation. Ten, nine, eight, seven, and counting backwards. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. What is the bird that doesn't go with? A phone call in number two. The verb do. Do, yes. We say return a phone call. Make a phone call. Receive a phone call. Hey, I received a phone call from uh, Jennifer Lopez. I received a, a phone call from Brad Pitt. Okay. And what about number three? A favor. Make. Make a favor, okay? You return the favor, you do a favor, and you ask for a favor. And what about number four? Turn it down. And could that be? Turn. Uh, yeah. It, and you're right, you know? I marked that one at the beginning because it sounds strange. But the, the answer is offer, okay? You cannot offer an invitation, but you, you're right. I mark that down. <laughs> so you receive an invitation, you accept an invitation, and you turn down an invitation. Turn down is to decline an invitation. To say, no, thank you. I have a lot of things to do. That's turn down, to decline an invitation. And what about number five? Refuse. Uh-huh. Offer. <laughs> yeah, but uh, thank you for your, uh, for your uh, participation. Um, it's offer. The same happened with the previous one. I marked refuse, but then I was checking, and I check it online, and it's offer. So you make a, a request, you deny a request, it's turned down a request, so you don't accept it and refuse an, a, a request. Yes. And uh, what about number number six, ladies? Give. Ah, okay. Give. Ah, I give. Okay. It's deny a give. Give me a present. Okay. And uh, give me a present, and I will receive it. I will give it, and I will refuse. And then I will say, ah, oh, no, thank you very much. Okay. And what about the last one? A compliment. Um, you, you, you know, compliment is uh, oh, how nice your is your uh, your blouse, your shit. Uh, it's really nice. That's a compliment. Oh, 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 what a great hair! I mean, you, it's really nice. It looks uh, uh, uh what? Uh, so that's a compliment. Mm -hmm. 
or congratulations, your English is perfect. Okay, that's a compliment. Uh, when, okay, I have to, this is basic English, but I, when do we, what, is, what does uh, an and a uh mean? What does mean? What do they mean? We use it's the, it's the same, it's, it's like a one, one it, thing yeah. or yes, some, it's, something. It's one. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. It's one. So they mean one. But when do we use am? Well, um, we use am and a when it's singular, uh -huh. and we use we use am when the Next word begin with a vowel. With a vowel, yes. Thank you. And we use a uh, when the let the word start with a consonant sound. So like p, f, r, g, and blah 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 blah. So good. I was just checking. Excellent, guys. So we use a uh, and an, it means one, and we use n when it's a uh, vowel sound, a, a, i, o, u, like an apple, an umbrella, uh, an apology, except university, because university has a consonant sound, and we say a uh, university, no an. Okay, good. It's just extra information there, and I'm, I'm sure you you just prove it that you know. Uh, let me just uh, stop the sharing over here because it will ah, ah yeah 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 yeah. Okay. You know, per work, we were going to discuss this one, but uh, I would like you to choose five collocation words. Um, no, because this is going to be in the... Okay. Perspective. What is the perspective? Exercise nine. Uh-huh. Could you tell Jeff what is the learning goal? Let me see. Let me see someone that helped me to read. Uh Claudia Maria, help me read in the, the the learning objectives. Practice living makes makes suggest listening to indirect request made in context. Okay, may in context. Thank you very much, Claudia. Very well done. Okay, we're going to uh, practice leaving messages. So I leave a message to someone, but the message is not for that person, it's for someone else. Okay, so and what what can be the messages? What are message uh, topic messages? Uh, I'll give you one. For example, a topic message can be can be report. a report, a report. Okay. What else? An schedule. An schedule. Okay. So an schedule. Good. Uh huh. What else? An, inv an invitation. An invitation, thank you, David. An invitation, good. Uh, someone else? Give me ideas, give me ideas. Uh -huh. An appointment. An appointment, thank you, David. Someone else, ladies? And a speech. And a speech. Thank you, Eda. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, two or three more. Not. <clears throat> Not. Okay. Thank you, Saul. Thank you very much. One more. Another idea. Um, 
Well, I'm in you. I'm in you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. A fool. Okay. I'm in you. Good. Thank you, Ella. Thank you very much. That was that was great. Um. Okay. A report can be one that like all of the the ones that you were saying they are okay. So, what is the next one that I showing you? Start meeting. I start meeting. I start meeting. We have a last night's party. Last night party. I don't know why you can say for a last night party, but anyway, there is a there is a message topic over there, and we got a basketball. A basketball also, and class. A class and birthday present. A birthday present and, and a party. A party and the last one, I think. About a, a pizza. Okay. Yeah. I'm All sorry, of... I I confuse it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I I think that yeah, it's like a different. Uh, I don't know. Uh, list in my, ah. my mind uh, I, uh, in this case. Is no. other other things? <laughs> ah, no, no, but it's, it was great. It was, uh, remember that the, the, the idea, not the idea, it has to be the goal or the objective is that you talk to me, talk to your classmates. That's the idea. Don't worry about it. Don't okay, worry. Okay, thanks. Uh -huh, don't <laughs> worry. Great, great English, by the way. Okay, so these are the, some of the uh, message topics that we have with live people. Um, this is on your book over there, and uh, what is someone is leaving a message for um, for Jeff, but Jeff is not receiving. I will I will explain it in the next slide. But Jeff is not receiving the message directly. Someone I give the message to Miguel. Let's say this bottle is Miguel. But Miguel has to give the message to someone else. Okay. So that's look at the message over there as, as you read. Okay. We're going to do two steps. Listen and follow and read. And then I, I will do as the note says. Okay. This time, no pauses. Page 19. Exercise 9. Perspectives. Could you tell Jeff? Part A. Many. Are you able to listen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, yes, okay. Sir. okay. I'm just getting sure if you am sharing the audio. People talked to Jeff's assistant while Jeff was away at lunch today. Listen to their messages. One. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Two. Can you ask Jeff to do me a favor and pick up a pizza on his way home? Three. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Four. Could you tell Jeff that there will be a staff meeting on Friday at 10 o'clock? Five. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Six. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Seven. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. Eight. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? Okay, so we are we were listening to indirect requests. Okay, so now my note over there says, "Teachers, note pause the audio after each message, and you have to repeat, read, or say the sentence." Diga la oración, okay. No enciende el micrófono, it's okay, okay. And, but su familia le está oyendo, okay. So, in a loud voice, that you get it over there. So, are you ready? Let's go. 
Page 19. Exercise 9. Perspectives. Could you tell Jeff? Part A. Many people talked to Jeff's assistant while Jeff was away at lunch today. Listen to their messages. 1. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Repeat the message. Good. I'm watching you, the ones that have camera. Two. Could you tell Jeff? Jeff. Yeah. Uh huh. Could you tell Jeff that that Tony is having? Could tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on a Friday, party night. On Friday, Friday night. night? Yes. Okay. Once again, guys, thank you very much for uh, turning on the microphone. But not necessarily uh, enciende el micrófono. Puede hacerlo atrás del micrófono, okay? So just repeat. Okay, uh, two. Two. Can you ask Jeff to do me a favor and pick up a pizza on his way home? Say the message. Three. Three. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Say the message. Four. Four. Could you tell Jeff that there will be a staff meeting on Friday at 10 o'clock? Say the message. Five. Five. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Say the message. Six. Six. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Say the message. Seven. Seven. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. Say the message. And the last one. Eight. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? Say the message. Okay, guys. So we are, oh, by the way, I will send you two audios. The one from the conversation that you can pause and repeat the speech and the one, this one. You can practice the sentences, okay? So that will help you being fluently, being confident on your the way that you speak. Okay, so here we're looking at direct message and we can use can, could, and even would. And instead of saying could, I can use would. For example, number one, we could. I could. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Perfect. Good. I can use would. Would you tell Jeff that Tony is having a, a party on Friday night? So, or I can use can and being polite. And remember that would is more polite, is more formal than can. Okay. So let me explain this one before you go to it. Okay, what are indirect requests? Let me see, uh, let me see over here. Uh, Rebecca, help me with uh, a, a reading the, in, uh, the meaning of what are indirect. Rebecca Yonelli? 
Could you help me reading over here? What are indirect requests? Are you able to listen, Rebecca? Yoneli Hernandez? Hola. Can you help indirect me? Indirect requests happen when a person asks another, per, uh, another person to tell order or ask something a third person. A third person, okay. So we have here three people, okay? And who are the people? Jeff Boss. Jeff Boss. Jeff ass Assistant. Jeff Assistant and? Jeff. The smiling Jeff, the happy Jeff, okay? So the message is for Jeff, but he, Jeff Boss give it to Jeff Assistant. So, for example, the next message that we see is the message is from his Jeff boss, but his boss does not give the message to Jeff. He gave it to, to he, Jeff's assistant. And he gave it to Jeff's assistant. And Jeff's assistant will pass on the message. Okay. You can say uh, Jeff assistant will give the message, will give the message. Or you can say Jeff's assistant will pass on the message, but the message is from this, uh, I mean, uh, the message is from Jeff boss, okay? And Jeff's assistant will give the message. And what is the mess? What is the message that Jeff Boss, um, that Jeff Boss, give to Jeff's assistant? What is it? About what? What is the 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 topic? The message topic is about it's meeting. It's about a meeting, and then. Uh, Jeff Boss says, let's, let's name it Julio. Uh, Jeff Boss is Julio. And um, Jeff's assistant is Mr. Lopez. And Jeff Boss is uh, uh, Jeff, whatever. So, and what is the message? Oh, let me. And the message is. What is the message? Could you tell Jeff there is a staff meeting today? Uh huh. Could you tell Jeff there is a, a staff meeting today? So, and then this guy, and then this guy uh, will go, Hey, Jeff, your boss says that there is a meeting today. But, okay. Could you tell Jeff there is a meeting today? This, that is so sure now. You can say both ways. You can say, could you tell Jeff there is a meeting today? Or could you tell Jeff that there is a meeting today? So that is up to you, okay? And for example, I said, I, uh, let me, um, a, for example, let me see. I tell, uh, I tell Rebecca. For example, I tell Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca, could you tell? Uh, is could you tell David to work on the platform? Okay. And then Rebecca will say, "Hey, David, Mr. Lopez says that that we should uh, uh, work on the platform." Okay. So that's the way that it sounds. So that's why we call it indirect question. I give the message to someone in order someone else will get it. Comprende? Yes, yes. no, more yes. or less? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, if you have doubts, please don't hesitate. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared to ask me, okay? Don't hesitate, don't be afraid, don't be scared. Okay, 
So that's the thing about this one. Oops. Let me stop the sharing in order to disappear. Okay. I don't know. There should be another way that uh, I compare the sonido. Okay. There are several ways that we pass a message to on, um, but don't be scared. Remember that we learn English by practicing. Oh, and another thing that I told the, the group of before, the group before. Accord, and this one, I will say it in Spanish. Not because you will not understand your English. I know that you understand. Okay. De acuerdo a los expertos, para que nosotros agarremos la, un tópico, un tema, una palabra, necesitamos ser expuesto de 14 a 27 veces. Eso no lo digo yo, lo dicen los expertos. Ok. So, es como la bicicleta, se sube la primera vez, me caí, me subí la segunda vez, me caí, me eh, subí la tercera vez, me caí, la cuarta vez tambaleé, la quinta vez tambaleé, pero ya la sexta, nadie me detiene. It's like that. The important thing, lo importante aquí es no tener miedo y no darse por vencido, ¿ok? So that's the idea. I hope that, is, uh, that this tip helped you. And congratulations, I think you're not scared to talk. Ok, listen, listen carefully to this. Page 20. Exercise 10. Grammar focus. Indirect requests. Statements. Jeff, Tony is having a party. Indirect requests introduced by that. Could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Imperatives. Jeff, don't be late. Oh, I'm sorry. What I have on my lap over here, this one, are the direct requests. Jeff, Tony is having a party. With imperative. Jeff, don't be late. Please. Okay. Yes, no question. Sophia, are you free on Saturday? Oh, yes, Mr. Lopez. No, Mr. Lopez, I'm sorry. Okay. So these are the direct requests, straight to people, face to face. And these ones on your, on your right, I got the indirect request, indirect request. I'll give it to someone else in order to the right person get it, okay? So let me, let me, let me start by putting this one that you see over there, okay? Just listen and pay attention to it. Page 20, exercise 10, grammar focus, indirect requests, statements. Jeff, Tony is having a party. Indirect requests introduced by that. Could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Imperatives. Jeff, don't be late. Indirect requests using infinitives. Can you tell Jeff not to be late? Yes, no questions. Sophia, are you free on Friday? Sophia, do you have my number? Indirect requests introduced by if or whether. Can you ask Sophia if she's free on Friday? Could you ask her whether or not she has my number? WH questions. Jeff, when does the party start? Sophia, what time should I pick you up? Indirect requests introduced by a question word. Can you ask Jeff when the party starts? Could you ask Sophia what time I should pick her up? Okay, guys. So, let me just put over here. 
Okay, this works like this. I will send you this in a document. Uh, okay, I don't promise, but I will try to do my best. So in the questions, are form like this one, but please uh, try to take notes or le toman uh, photo al imagen cuando ya la tenga completa. Statements. With the statements, we can use can or could. Remember that could is the past of can't. So I use can or could you please. I can be very polite by saying please tell plus Jeff plus the not, plus the person, plus that, which is optional, plus original statement. And that, I got it this from perspective, from the ones that, are, that are, we have over there. So example number one, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Example number four, could you tell Jeff that there will be a staff meeting on Friday at 10? Example number six, who can read it, please? <clears throat> please tell Jeff that I owe he is an apology. An apology. I forgot, I forgot about or day last night. Yes, yeah, sure. So these are the three examples that were in the perspective over there, the, the one that we see. So this is the way when we use a statement. Okay. Uh, number two, imperatives. But Mr. Lopez, what are imperatives? Does, any, does anybody of you have an idea what imperative are? Imperatives are in your own words. Something important, something precious. Something important, good. Another idea. It's it's when some uh, someone uh, talk with the authority. Okay, ah, authority. Let's take that place of authority because of the time we're just having. Okay, imperative guys are, we often use imperatives when we want someone in everyday life to give orders, to communicate in an informal language. Like, like you say, imperatives, I mean authorities, okay? Orders, commands, and so on. So, and when we give an imperative, we call those birds action birds. What is an action bird? Walk, go do, clean, those are action verbs because we had to do to do an action, like it says. Both is, is like an order. Yes, it's, it's an order. But the only thing that when I use imperatives, even though it's an order, I said, for example, in everyday life, we say, close the window, please. Close the door behind you, please. Okay, turn on the, the air conditioner. Okay, those are ordinance. So you is explicit there, but we don't mention the subject you. We just said, and, and if you see over there, we have action verbs. Move, clean, wash, eat, turn, stop, run, open, do. Okay, um, please move, please, I mean, ah, if I say the magic, magic word, I'm being very polite. Clean the room, please. Uh, wash the window, please. Eat your food, please. Okay, turn on the light. Okay, those are action verbs. What will be the negative? How can we make uh, this action verb negative, imperative? What word do I use? It's an auxiliary plus not. Couldn't. Couldn't, okay. Another option? 
Can't. Can't. Other options. It's the simple form, the simple present. The auxiliary plus not, a simple present. But thank you for those. Uh, um, thank you for your. It's. We make imperatives by using don't. Okay. Don't move. Uh, don't clean the window, if I can say that. Uh, don't stop. Don't run, please. So I use in negative imperatives by using the word don't. Remember that the subject is you, but it's implicit. So esa es la característica de imperatives. We do not use a subject, but it's an order. It's a command. Okay. So in imperatives, I use can, could, uh, you, tell, or I can use as, plus Jeff, plus not, plus imperative. For example, the examples over there. Number two, from perspective. Uh huh. Someone can read me, help me, someone else? Uh, read me. number two? Me. Okay, so mm -hmm. go ahead. Can you ask Jeff to do me a favor and pick up a pizza on his way home? On his way home. What is the imperative? Pick up, okay? Can you ask Jeff to do me a favor and pick up a pizza on his way home? Can you tell Jeff to do me a favor? I can use tell or ask, either way. Okay, number five. Someone else? Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Okay, thank you, Amis. What is the imperative? When you say, can you tell him not to be? Not to be late, that's the imperative. And pick me up also. Uh, someone else, number seven? Me. Can mm -hmm. you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you very much. Okay. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? Or, ¿qué otro verbo puede usar? En este do, ask. Would? No, yeah. the verb. The verb. The verb. Yeah. I am using as. Let me. I am using this one. So, what other verb can I use? Tell. I can tell, of course. And this, and this, uh, I can use tell or as. Either way, you feel more comfortable. In a, and the listener will not be like what? No. Polite. The yeah, the listener will be okay if you tell. Can you ask? Jeff, can you tell Jeff? It, it will be uh, no problem. Okay. So, and number three. If you like that, uh, you can take a picture to this one. If you, uh, I will try to. Uh, I'm you. sorry. Uh, can you uh, put the, the the last one? Uh, I'm uh, sorry. The one. The one. The, the first one. one. Be, the one before. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Th this one. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Ready? Yes. Okay, Thank number two. Now number two, and then we go number three. Because there are four. Yes. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, number three is yes, no questions. What are questions, uh, yes, no, um, yes, no questions. Oh. A yes, no question is uh, when I'm looking for a yes or a no, okay? That's yes, no question. So in this case, I can use can or could you ask so plus Sophia plus if plus uh, if or whether and whether, I had to use both, if and whether, plus, s, p, 
or a statement. What is that? I look for that one. Look at this one. Can you read the definition? What is SBO? Subject verb of object uh -huh. is a sentence structure where the subject comes first, the verb second, and the object third. And the object third. This is not very common, but you might be asked on the platform over there was one of this one. But this is not very common, okay? Because it's so um in these kind of sentences that we have the subject plus the verb plus the object. Remember the subject, Mauricio Maria, he, she plus the verb, go, see, uh, ask, tell, etc. And the object, it will be like the pizza, uh, the airport, and uh, some, some of the things over there. Examples, number A from perspective, what is it? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Natalie, could you help me reading number eight? Natalie, Rebecca. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Would you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night inside of Thursday? Okay, good. Um. I will try to mark tomorrow which one is the subject and the verb and so on. Thank you, uh, Natalie. And uh, number the next one, oops. Ah, it's just one sentence. Okay, uh, WH questions. What are WH words? What? Who, why, how. Why, how. What? What, what, when, 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 which, why. Right, exactly. So in this case, uh, yes, no question looking for yes or for no. But in this one, looking for extra information. The same thing. Uh, could you ask plus Sophia plus WH word plus HBO statement? And number three, I have just number three. Uh -huh, what is it? Could you, could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? His birthday, okay. So, uh, tomorrow we'll do the exercises, okay, from this one, and I will try to mark which one is the subject, which one is the verb, and everything. That's my homework for tomorrow. Uh, just let me take the attendance, guys, and uh, let you go, and we're right on time. Just two minutes. Okay, please say present, Carlos Carlos Alberto Martinez. Present. Now I'm in the, on the correct list. Uh, Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daniela Mercedes Mendez. Present. Uh, David Alonso Mejia. Present. Eda Lisbeth Pineda. Present. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher. Thank you. Glendy El El Elisset Flores Ramirez. Present. Eh, Isabo Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Isaura Evelia Vázquez de Ponce. Present teacher. Luis, Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Eh, Marco Antonio Quijano es, Esquivar es, es well, Quijano, Mr. Quijano. Marco. And, um, and Natalie Rebecca Peña. Present teacher. Eh, Nubia Cristina Morales. Present teacher. Eh, Raúl Antonio Pérez. Raúl. Present you teacher. Yes, yeah, thank you, Raúl. Um, Rebecca Yoneli Hernández. 
Present teacher. Rebeca Paola Granados. Present teacher. Eh, Renato Salvador Ramírez. Present teacher. And uh, Ruth Marielo Samaya de, de Guardado. Ruth. Eh, Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present teacher. And Silvia Tatiana Costa. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Uh, 10.04. Yes. Okay. Have a great night. A sleep time. And I'll see you tomorrow. So thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate that. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night.